I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. I'm sharing with you some test questions. They are in the form of multiple choice and I hope the solution of this will help many others. The question here is, graph of y equals to x e to the power of 4x plus 1 at x equals to minus 1 is concave up and decreasing, concave down and decreasing, concave up and decreasing, or concave down and increasing. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Now there are two parts to this. We have to figure out concave up or down, increasing or decreasing. To figure out increasing and decreasing, we'll find the first derivative at x equals to minus 1 and for the concavity, we'll check the second derivative, right? So we are given the function y equals to x e to the power of 4x plus 1. Derivative is a equal to, apply the product rule, derivative of x is 1, we get e to the power of 4x plus 1 plus x times derivative of the function, which is e to the power of 4x plus 1 times 4, right? That becomes the derivative. Now, we can substitute minus 1 to figure out whether this is negative or positive. So, the derivative of this function at x equals to minus 1 is what? When I substitute minus 1, I get e to the power of minus 4 plus 1 plus 4 times x is minus 1 e to the power of minus 4 plus 1. And what we get here is e to the power of minus 3 and this is minus 4 e to the power of minus 3 and that indeed is negative minus 4 and 1 e to the power of uh, negative 3 I mean okay e to the power of negative 3 so this is negative so what we found here is that the first derivative at x equals to minus 1 is less than 0 and that clearly indicates that the graph is decreasing clear? Now, we'll work on the concavity. We have the derivative and we'll find the second derivative for this particular function. We are going to use this particular first derivative to find the second derivative. So, e to the power of 4x plus 1, derivative will be 4 times e to the power of 4x plus 1, now, the derivative of the second function is the same thing. So, we'll write this as e to the power of 4x plus 1 plus 4 times x times e to the power of 4x plus 1. Okay? Now, we need to see whether this is positive or negative at x equals to minus 1. So, let's check this value also. So, at x equals to minus 1, substituting, we get 4 e to the power of minus 3 plus e to the power of minus 3 minus, because this is minus 1, 4 times e to the power of minus 3. So, so we get, in this particular case, minus 4 e to the power of minus 3 and this cancel, and we get a positive value of e to the power of minus 3. Now, since this value is positive, right, so we have, this is greater than 0, so we have concave up. Therefore, the graph is concave up, right? So, combining the two, we have a function which is decreasing and is concave up. So, the very first option is the right option. Is that clear to you? We are going to solve an application question based on the derivatives of logarithmic functions. The question here is, Determine the equation of tangent line in standard form to the graph of the function f of x equals to sine of ln x square at x equals to minus 1. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we are given x equals to minus 1. So let's find the value of this function at minus 1. So what we get here is sine ln minus 1 square, right, which is equal to 
sine of ln1. Now ln1 is 0, so we get sine of 0. And sine of 0 is also 0. So we have a point which is at minus 1, the value of the function is 0. So first part is to get the point itself. And now let us find the slope of tangent line. Right. So the slope of tangent line will be from the derivative. Right. So let's find the slope now at the point which is minus 1, 0. So we are given the function f of x as equal to sine of ln x squared. So the derivative of this function will be cos of ln x squared times the derivative of inside function. So ln x squared derivative is 1 over x squared and the derivative of x squared is 2x. So that becomes the derivative of the function. So we could write this as cos of ln x squared times 2 over x, right? So the slope at x equals to minus 1 can be substitute minus 1 here. So we get cos of ln 1 minus 1 squared is plus 1 times 2, right? Times 2. Now ln 1 is 0. So what we get here is cos of 0 times 2, right? Cos of 0 is 1, so we get this value as 2. So we know now that the slope is 2 at the point P, which is minus 1, 0. So we can use the standard form of equation, which is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 to get our result. So in our case, y minus y1 is 0, right? So we get y minus 0 equals to slope of 2, x minus the x value, so which becomes plus 2. Now we can rewrite this, so we get y equals to 2x plus 1, and then rearrange to write this as 0 equals to 2x minus y plus 1. And therefore, we get our equation, and the equation for us is definitely 2x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. Right? So that becomes the solution. That is the equation of tangent line at the given point. Right? So tangent line at x equals to minus 1. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve this question. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best. The question here is, f of x is equal to log to the base 3 of 2x minus 1. Find the derivative of the function at x equals to 3, f prime 3. Four choices are given to you. So we are given the function f of x as equals to log to the base 3 of 2x minus 1. Now how do we find the derivative of this? Well, one of the ways are to change the base to ln, right? So, so if I change the base to ln, I can write this as ln 2x minus 1 over ln 3. Now ln 3 is a constant and we know the derivative of ln 2x minus 1. So we can now write this as f prime x is equal to 1 over ln 3, of course, that is a constant. Derivative of this function in the numerator is 1 over 2x minus 1 times the derivative of inside function, which is 2. So what we get here is that the derivative of this function is 2 over ln 3 times 2x minus 1. Since we need to find the derivative of 3, let's substitute 3 now. So what we get here is 2 over ln 3. And substituting 3 here, we get 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 
So, so what we get here is 2 over 5 times 1 over ln 3, right? So, so that's what we get, which is option number 1. So A is the right option. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we can actually solve this particular question. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.